my dream camera just arrived. I'm still wearing my PJs, but it's not important. I've waited three weeks for this. Oh my God. Here it is. We need to go out and take photos with this today. We got a lot of film to shoot. And then we have this uh, leather band that I'm going to wrap around here so I can hold it. I need to go to YouTube right now, learn how to put a roll in this, and then we see how it goes. This is the setup I'll be doing YouTube with for a while. The brand new camera, which is 60 years old or something. And then I mounted a GoPro down here where it's supposed to be for like a tripod. But I actually like how this setup works. It's kind of like a heavy, like a tank almost. Pardon, amigo. Puedo tomar una foto aquí? Muchas gracias. It was a little bit dark inside the bus, so that's the first shot today, I think, that I took at f2.8, which is the fastest this camera will go to. When you look through this lens, everything is, is opposite. Like it's an illusion. So whenever I turn left, it goes right. I knew that from the beginning, but it just takes a while to, it takes a while to get used to. So right now I'm shooting with the built-in light meter. I'm not 100% sure that it is correct. A lot of you guys also asked me on Instagram where I bought the camera and I bought it on keh.com. And I put a link to that in the description too. And I just checked, they have a couple of Rolleiflexes left. Right now I'm shooting Tri-X 400 from Kodak. It's very contrasty and I should probably have picked the L for it instead because it's a little more forgiven. And since we're shooting with the built-in light meter on a 50-year-old camera, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure how this goes, but it would be amazing if the light meter actually worked so I didn't have to rely on an app. Pardon, amigo. ¿Puedo tomar tu foto? Exactamente con eso. Ajá. Entonces, yo tengo un cámara nuevo, yo necesito practicar. Dos segundos. Y mira aquí. Perfecto. Muchas gracias, amigo. Sí, 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 no es nuevo, pero es nuevo para mí. Pero muchas gracias, amigo. So that was my first ever portrait with uh, this camera. I think it was a good one. But let's see if the exposure was all right. When this camera takes a picture, the shutter is so silent. It's like, and that's it. So I guess if someone is into these sneaky street photography photos, it's kind of nice for that. <laughs> but for me personally, I like a faster or like a louder shutter. I'm still nervous about this exposure that is built in. I hope the photos are okay. That was my Vivian Meyer selfie. I know I couldn't upload this video without it because I will get comments like, where is it? Pardon? Do you speak English? Only. Only, that's good. Can I take a photo of you? I photograph, I practice photography and I just bought this 60 year old camera and I don't know if... A Rolleiflex. Exactly. You pay? Yeah, what'd you pay for it? Oh, you don't want to know. Yes, I do. $2,700 from the States and then import taxes of like $400. So it sent me back around $3,000.
stuff, right? No, but uh, this is the second roll today, so I haven't, I have no idea how it takes photos yet. Okay. Can I take doing, a photo? You're doing black and white or color? Black and white. I'm just gonna get my focus straight. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Hola. Sí, pero yo tengo una nueva cámara. Yo necesito practicar. ¿Quieres una? ¿Estás practicando conmigo? Sí, sí, exactamente. A la Perfecto. Muchas gracias, amigo. Vale. Buen día. I thought this camera was sneaky, but he spotted me immediately. But luckily he was up for a photo. I think it was a cool one. Another reason why I bought this camera is because I think it slows me a little more down. This camera is really nice and fun to use for street portraits with consent. I'm not fast enough to do this candid shots, these fast snappy ones, but it'll come. I just need to get used to this viewfinder. So right now I'm in downtown in Mexico City and I'm still shooting uh, through the light meter of the camera which actually seems to be accurate. When I measure this place right now it says 125th of a second at 2.8 and I saw 400 and that's exactly what my light meter says so that's very fortunate. Actually, right here where I am is one of my favorite places to take photos. And right here, I took a cool photo of a guy pondering life. That was the last photo of today's photo walk. There'll be a lot more with this camera and I have a new exciting series coming up on my channel that you will find out more about in a week or so, I think. All right, guys, this is it. The wait is over, at least for me. You guys have watched the photos already. I haven't. I have the photos right here and we're going to go through them right now. There's one thing that I'm a little bit concerned of and that is that I've underexposed the photos extremely to a point where they just doesn't work. Like Kodak Trix is already really contrasty as a film. And some of you probably remember when we shot Kodak Trix before in the States, if not I link it up here, where they came back really contrasty and almost too underexposed. That's my biggest fear, but um, let's get to it. It's funny with this square format, I actually don't mind it. I think it's nice and it's like focused. I like this one, not too contrasty, just enough contrast for me actually. Okay, that's good. What else do we have? Oh, the taco stand. Yeah, this is very dark, this one, but it's difficult. Ah, this one is better. I actually like this one better. More grainy, but <laughs> it's cool. This is nice. <laughs> so far, I'm really relieved that the photos are properly exposed because I used my light meter for all of the photos which means I can trust the light meter. This light meter in this camera is much better than in the Canon AE-1 that I also own. This is a nice portrait, I think. I like this one, actually. He was so close to giving me like the thumbs up when I took the photo. I was like, keep your hands together and never do thumbs up for the photos. It, <laughs> it kills it. Oh, this one is very, very nice. This one came out so well. Oh my God, this camera works. The light meter works, the exposure works and it looks crispy. 
And it's with this camera, I feel like I'm gonna interact a little bit less. I'm still gonna do street portraits, but I feel like I'm, I can interact a little bit less and be more like a fly on the wall because I'm photographing down instead of pointing the camera towards the one I'm photographing. And I'm kind of excited uh, about that. And I think that will change a lot of my focus or a lot of my photos, sorry. Yep, <laughs> not much really, but wow, what the quality. I'm so impressed with the quality so far. This is cool. I caught him right when he was about to walk out. Eh, not really, not really, not really anything. I should have been closer here. I should take my own advice and stop being a pussy and go closer. I, I like this one. I think I'm gonna crop this one a little bit. Like this guy's face is so sharp and I like this shallow depth of field and that's why I wanted the 2.8 instead of the 3.5 I think it is from Rolleiflex. I wanted this shallow depth of field for portraits and street portraits in general. <laughs> this is a Mexican dog called a Xolo. They're hairless. <laughs> so now you know. Here I actually missed the focus. I don't really mind it. It's not that crazy but it, I did miss it. I caught him with his eyes closed. That's the thing with my with my 35 millimeter camera. I usually take for two photos every time just to make sure that the subject I'm photographing is not blinking or is acting out. But with this camera, I didn't do that. It's a little bit expensive these rolls and to get them developed as well. And there's only 12 photos per roll, so I was like, I'm I'm gonna take one photo and then I'm gonna trust my instinct, which is a little bit crazy when you just buy a camera that you have no idea how it works. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me of some like, there, it has this raw feeling to it where a lot of my previous photos, they're like very pretty or so on. But this has this raw, super high contrasty look. Nope. Missed focus a little bit. I think I was trying to like catch a photo like quickly, but I'm not there yet. I will get there though. I like his motion actually. I would probably crop this one a little bit like this, something like this, right? I like uh, that he's in motion. All of these photos are usually shot at a shutter speed 125th of a second. And I shot the majority of all photos at just a uh, box speed of the Kodak Tri-X 400, which is 400 ISO. I was curious about this one. I was like, this could be one of these moments where I just underexposed the whole scene, but this worked out. It's a little bit difficult to see that she's holding the mirror. It looks more like a paper, but I really like how it came out. And it was super shallow depth of field. I think we're going 2.8 here as well, as wide as this camera can go. <laughs> this is so cool. That's, this is what I'm saying. With this camera, I feel like I can be a little more like a fly on the wall and no one really cares because it looks like I'm not really doing anything. I'm just fiddling with a camera. So far, I'm super impressed. This one I like too. Crop it, align it a little bit, but I like it. I'm just practicing my focus here more than anything. And then I went into the bus, a ver. <laughs> this can be aligned to, maybe I should just align it two seconds. Not too bad, not too bad. I like this one. Nope, doesn't really do anything for anyone. This is a tricky scene in terms of exposure, but I can't believe that you can actually see the two people inside the dark, dark truck. Yeah, now they're a little bit darker. I think I adjusted the exposure slightly. I like this one. Oh, here we go. So right now there's this bright sky behind the mirror. And when the camera does the reading, it takes that into account, which means where I am, when there's a lot less light, it's gonna get underexposed. <laughs> this dude turned out a lot better than I thought. Nice. Again, let's just align it a little bit. Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe I like this one even more, actually. Cool. Ah, uh, I need to pull off my Vivian Meyer better than this. What is this smiling, man? But again, so happy with the exposure. I kind of like this one. It's busy. Wish the car was either gone or was a classic car. <laughs> not really. Oh, this is great. This camera is fun to photograph with. And it's so cool now that I know I can I can rely on it in terms of exposure. I'm gonna get so much more confident in which photographs I'm gonna take. This is great too. Oh my God, I'm just gassing myself up here. 
but I'm thinking more about the quality of the camera and the film roll and the exposure than my photos. My photos, uh, they're all right too. But this one came out really, I love this one. I love that you, can, you can't see his eyes. He has like raccoon eyes in a way. Super nice. Too much going on here, too far away. Not gonna work. I wanted to practice my focus and my speed, but luckily this uh, butterfly stood still. Nope, not really, not really interesting. Mm, not really. But that's it. Oh my God, what a relief. Now I'm so excited to go out and shoot again because now I know I can trust my Roliflex. The reason I chose this camera is because like it, I paid around two, $2,700 for it because I wanted it in like excellent condition, which it is. But for that money, you could get, you could also buy a Mamiya or you could buy almost a Leica, which a lot of other photographers might have chosen one or the other. But for me, the past two years, I have always had my eye on this camera and I would love to take photos with this compared to the Mamiya or Leica. Not saying I'm not going to get either at some point, maybe a 35 millimeter. But for me, this has always been the camera that I wanted to photograph with, especially street. And for you, it's maybe something else. Image quality and price and all of that matters, but it's also the feeling you have when you take photos with the camera and your enthusiasm for picking up the camera and going out and take the photos. I'm gonna look through the photos again now off camera, check them out. I was so, so happy with it. So expect a lot more photo walks and videos with the Roliflex. Thanks for watching, guys.